welcome back guys this is section 4.6 and here we have this question 23 in which we are asked to convert the following expressions to sum of product forms okay so what is basically the sum of product forms so suppose uh, if i want to convert any of the form to the sum of the products so what it would be so if the output form is x it would contain the product one product two and similarly if we have product three or up to the product n okay what we have to do we will have to add them together these r will be added together and at the end we will get this one okay so here we have different products which are added together and therefore this is called let me write it with uh, this blue color this is called the sum of products or sop so this is called the sum of products so we have to convert each of the expression here to the sum of the product expression so for it let me first try our question a so this would be c plus d and here we have a plus d prime okay so in order to convert it what we can do we can also write this expression as c multiplied by a plus d and similarly d multiplied by a plus d prime okay uh, writing it or multiplying this term with the terms inside and this term with all the terms inside what will we get we will get c dot a plus c dot d prime and similarly this d d dot a plus d dot d prime okay so this is the expression which we have and according to the boolean's algebra we know that this one okay uh, what it would be and how much it would be so according to the boolean algebra we know that d dot d prime will be equal to zero so it will be what it will be zeroed here okay uh, so now writing the other terms here what will we get we will get a c because c dot a or c a dot c is equivalent and similarly c dot d prime plus a dot d okay so what is this this is the term in which we have different products so this is product number one this two this three and these are added together by these summation so therefore this is the final expression and this is the sop form for the part a okay so this is what this is the sop for part a okay uh, similarly for part b here we have let me solve it here so for part b we have a a d prime plus c okay so what we have to do again we can see that here we have this a and multiplying this a with all the terms inside what will we get we will get a dot a d prime and similarly a c okay uh, similarly we have here this a dot a and i know that let me write it with this yellow so i know that a dot a is always equal to a so uh, let me represent it with the single element here so what i will get i will get a d prime plus a c okay so we know that it cannot be further simplified and here we have this product this product which are basically added by using this uh, addition so this is the sum of the product expression and this is the final version which we want so this is the sum of the product expression okay uh, now let us try this last part or let me try to solve it here as well okay so the last part here we have is a plus c and cd plus ac 
again using the same formula which we have used here so here we can also write it like a c d plus a c and also plus c c d plus a c okay uh, now we have these terms let me multiply with all the terms here and let me multiply the c with all the terms here what will we get so we will get here a c d plus a a c plus c c d and plus a c c or c a c these two will be similar so now here we know that according to the boolean's algebra what we have we know that a dot a is equal to a and c dot c is equal to c okay so using these here uh, this one here and this one here and here what will i get i will get here a c d plus a c plus c d plus a c okay uh, so now we also have here this a c and a c and i know that according to the boolean's algebra a c plus a c will be equal to a c okay so therefore writing it here what i will get i will get the form final terms here so it would be a c d plus a c plus c d okay so again what are these this is product one this is two this is three which are added together and here this is the final expression for my sum of the product formula okay so we have solved different uh, questions here so let me separate them out this is part a and this is part b this is part c okay this is part a so we have solved them and here we have seen that how to find the uh, sum of the products of different expression by using the boolean expression okay or boolean simplification so that's it for today and i will see you with some more questions in our upcoming video i hope uh, this has cleared the concept and all the ambiguities which you might have regarding the sum of the product forms okay so till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon